Welcome classmates and Dr. Stewart to my presentation. So instead of using a drawing or a piece of paper or cardboard or clay, I actually found a very useful website called Miro or Miro. I'm not sure how to say it, but this website includes everything you need for any type of low fidelity prototype template. So I can see here they already have uh, mobile phone outlines, there's shapes, you can put text, stickers, you name it. It has everything you need and I figured it was perfect and this would be the perfect way to present on Screencast-O-Matic. So let's get right into it. So here the first step would be to log in, of course. You are required to identify yourself, so the typical login, register, forgot password. So this right here would be the interface for the very, um, when users first log in. So I named my app um, Ripple Play. It's not based solely on the Ripple company, it was just an example, but anyway, so here you can see you use your email, password, login, and of course give them an option, forgot password, privacy settings, and my favorite, the biometric login, which I personally love to use on any of my apps. So once they create an account, they go over here. This would be the next screen interface they would see. I have access to the world of blockchain, icon up here for the home button, and the icon up here in the upper right to search anything they want. They have options of accessing their wallet. They can send money to people. They can check the markets, the NFTs, and the metaverse. So if they were to click on their wallet, here would be the next screen that would show up. As you can see here, I clear label as wallet. This icon gives them the option to go back and select from different options from the previous screen. This icon over here allows them to scan their wallet or if they're wanting to send money to a friend's wallet they use this to scan it. It would be similar to Cash App or Venmo when you have to scan a friend or another person's address. But here as you can see so this wallet is their Bitcoin wallet. This right here would be their Bitcoin address. They have the option to receive to send or swap their Bitcoin for other tokens. I have the Bitcoin symbol right here to clear label what it is. It tells exactly how much Bitcoin they have and how much exactly it's worth. So if they were to click on the market, it would take them to this interface screen. Again, clear labels market. I gave them this button right here to go back. It's a very simple um, inter interface. It shows them all the different cryptocurrencies, their current price, and they'll simply have to press on it if they want to purchase it or sell it. So next, we have the send money option. That takes them to this interface. Again, I gave them the option to go back, an option to search for any financial institution, bank, whatever it may be. Um, the three examples I have here, you know, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, the description, their picture, or logo. Um, Bank of America and Wells Fargo is just a, an example, but they would simply press it, click on it, and they would put in the amount of money they would like to send along with the address of the recipient. Next, we have NFTs. Once they click on NFTs, we'll take them this, this screen right here. Back option, search for any NFTs they would like. These pictures would be, of course, replaced with actual NFTs. You have the label, the title, description of it. One thing I forgot to put in these is the price. They all have a price. Um, something else I also could have included is that they would have their own collection if they did, and they would also be able to sell it. Next, we have the metaverse. If I can just, there we go. So once they clicked on it, it would take you to this screen. This blue square right here would be the interface for the metaverse. However, this option right here, they would press it so that they can connect their headset for VR 
here it would make sure they would have uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and at the bottom as you can see home button they can search typical bottom bars that you would have for most mobile applications so in general I was very tempted to get very creative as you can see there's only two colors of course real world I wouldn't have just blue or white I didn't want to take up too much time otherwise I would have got really creative and added all kinds of colors and even more logos and symbols and you name it and to be honest for all the different features you see here in the very first screen I was just thinking of what would a typical blockchain or crypto app include so of course you have your wallet right you should be able to send money this is actually an addition I thought of since Ripple the company Ripple they use their native token XRP to send cryptocurrencies to between financial institutions and such so that was an addition I added but besides that I figured you'd be able to check the market to see different cryptocurrency prices NFTs of course and the metaverse I kept the layout very simple I didn't want to overcomplicate it I wanted the typical user to be able to navigate easily also there would likely be more animations and maybe even some audio especially for the metaverse portion so moving on to my storyboard I apologize for the lack of different illustrations I couldn't really think of something different to illustrate for each scenario except for this last one but here you can see John uses the Ripple Play app and creates an account for himself he logs in or registers John utilizes the wallet function to access his cryptocurrencies John checks his NFT collection he can buy and sell some John can also check the crypto markets to see current prices and also decide whether to purchase or sell some John can also send money over to his friends and family that are living overseas excuse the typo down here finally John can access the metaverse through the in-app function connect his headset and customize his avatar and play various games and meet other people in the metaverse environment I think this product differs from the typical maker movement in terms of education because typically people from the maker movement sway away from education and this product was designed by me and I'm currently taking a formal education taking courses and learning exactly how to do everything as far as all of this but if any of my other classmates would like to use a more user-friendly or they want their low fidelity prototype to be on their computer screen I highly recommend this website Miro it has everything you need it even has all these different options you can choose it's click and drag you have top bars bottom bars pickers keyboards you name it everything you would need pictures text cards placeholders icons very simple very effective so I believe I have covered everything if anyone has any questions please feel free to ask me in the discussion underneath my post thank you and have a nice day